Hi, we're here today with Dr. Sanjay Patani. He's the Associate Chief Medical Officer at Advent Health's Mission Control. Um, mission Control is actually uh, the term we use for our command center, the name, um, that we constructed in 2019. And it actually services four counties in our Central Florida Division here in Florida. Um, it actually helps to coordinate the care across nine campuses in our division, as well as 18 emergency rooms. So we're able to see patients at any portal of entry in our system. Um, our leadership recognized that we could improve our product we could do better. So from leadership down, we had the directive of how do we actually construct that? And that's what you see here in Mission Control. We've co-located multiple groups of team members from our transfer center to our admissions team, um, to our behavioral health management teams. And so what we try to do is elevate the way we deliver that care. So one of the core functions of our system was to try to reduce the variation in census. Um, a hospital that's operating at 80% versus a hospital that's running at 90%. How do we better balance our resources so that we can address our patient needs? So that's um, turnaround times for environmental service cleanings to um, how quickly do we place, how, how quickly are our patients getting our radiology studies? Um, how long is transport taking to take a patient from um, lab to a radiology to pharmacy. Sure. Um, so how all these things operationally get executed on is something we, um, we measure. And that's really the core component of any command center. But what Advent Intel does more is we go into the clinical realm. Mm -hmm. We try to measure clinical impact on patient care. How do we effectively do it better? And how does that translate to patients? <laughs> fortunate to actually have Mission Control up and running prior to COVID because I honestly don't understand how we could have operated without it. Mission Control allowed us to track patients within the ICUs to understand ventilation um, capabilities, supply chain necessities, and allowed us to balance our resources better as we flexed from a centralized um, quaternary um, strategy to a decentralized ICU strategy where COVID patients initially started at one campus mm -hmm. and then we moved COVID patients across all campus. So without a centralized tracking and monitoring and an actual accountability perspective, um, I think we would have we would not have been as successful with both mortality and patient outcomes. The cultural transformation that occurs within your workforce with nursing and providers is very essential to go in parallel mm -hmm. with the value transformation of care that you provide in a command center like this. Learning how to bend, how to evolve and shift paradigm care, uh, paradigms of care um, is probably one of the most important lessons that we've learned at Adventise. Now that we're kind of getting out of the post-pandemic crisis, we're able to reinvigorate our initial long-term strategies for what the true essence of Mission Control was built for, which is more than just capacity management. We're now going to stretch to how do we impact clinical outcomes on patients? How do we drive down length of stay that's meaningful and translates to reduce cost for both the patient, the payer, and the system? That's where our future focus is. We all begin as physicians um, in our practicing our specialty working to take care of and advocate for our patient care. Mm -hmm. um, here at Advent Health, my role as Chief Medical Officer has allowed me to advocate for physicians and patients. Um, and so my, my reach goes beyond a single specialty and I'm able to, to understand multiple issues and multiple different perspectives. That's something that a lot of physicians have to learn and it's something we don't get trained in. I think the FMA has allowed me to voice some of these concerns and to listen for my colleagues across the state as well. 
how we advocate for our patients and our physicians. We're the one of the largest voices um, that can influence this decision making at both a regulatory level um, and a statutory level.